Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintBallProps.com. This is one of our new modules. We'll be selling this in kit form as well, but I have yet to make an assembly video for it. Uh, it's an infrared toggler, so you use your uh, TV remote control to either toggle a relay on or to keep it on while you're holding down uh, one of the buttons on your TV remote control. Some TV remote controls work better than others. Uh, Roger's remote works, but not as well as, uh, say, my VCR remote or my uh, secondary TV remote. I'll be giving you a demonstration in a second. Comes with a 9 volt, 1 amp adapter. Plugs right into the 5 millimeter jack. Um, there's a jumper here. If you, there's uh, three pins on the jumper labeled GND for ground, COM for common, and 5 volts. If you connect the COM pin to the ground pin using the 2 pin jumper header connector, then it starts off in momentary mode, meaning the output, the relay will stay on as long as you're holding down the uh, any single button on your uh, TV remote control. If when you power it on, you have the COM pin connected to, shorted to the uh, 5 volt pin using the, again, the 2 pin header, uh, you'll be in toggle mode. And uh, that means every time you press a button and you let go, the relay will toggle on, and then you can toggle states. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Right now I've got the COM pin shorted to the ground pin. I'm going to put in my 5 volt adapter. You'll notice that the, re the LED blinks twice. So I'm in momentary mode. So I'm just going to, you don't have to even aim it right at the sensor. The sensor is right back here actually. I'm just going to So as long as I hold the button down, the relay will stay on. When I let go right now, it turns off. On, off. There you go. So what I'll do now is I will unplug the two pin header connector. I will connect it to uh, the comp pin five volts. I will unplug it, let the capacitors discharge, plug it back in, and you'll notice that the LED blinked once. So now we're in toggle mode. So yeah, move from way back here, toggle off, toggle on, toggle off. So this is not a, a learning uh, IR set. We have a learning IR set that actually saves to uh, that that saves the code from a specific button. Check it out. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the relay. There's three pins of the output of the relay. There's a terminal block, the, and I'm going to talk about the terminal block in a second. Show you how to connect an AC power line so you can use the relay to control some high-powered circuits. So on the board, there is a ter three pin terminal block, and on the board it's labeled, one pin is labeled NO for normally open, the middle pin is labeled CO for uh, common, and the right pin is labeled NC for normally closed. Now when the relay is off, the common pin is connected internally to the normally closed pin. When the relay is activated, the connection uh, between the common and normally uh, closed pin disconnects from each other and connects to the normally open pin. So the common is always either connected here or here. Non-active, relay activated. So what I've got here is I've got an extension cord connected to a lamp. What I've done is I've cut one of the lines. Now this is a two-wire extension cord. Um, if you were talking about a three-pronged extension cord, usually there's a green, uh, white, and black. Black is hot. White is uh, neutral and ground is earth ground. So if we were had one of those, we would just cut the white wire, the or the uh, or sorry the uh, the black wire, the hot wire. And now that it really matters too much, you can use the hot wire, the white wire, or the black wire. But uh, common extension cords just have like just a long white cord. You can sever one side; it really doesn't matter which one. Let the other one continue on to the load, which in this case is a lamp. So we've severed we've severed one line, and we're connecting one of those lines, doesn't matter which one, to the normally open pin. The other of that severed wire will go to the common pin. So when we turn on the device, the relay is off, the common pin is connected to the normally closed pin. Nothing happens. As soon as we activate the relay, what happens is power will travel through the severed wire, through the common pin, through to the normally open pin, internal to the relay, and it'll complete the circuit. Hopefully that makes sense. The relay is just a, uh, a high power uh, electromagnetic switch, and so um, we can use it to switch on high power applications. I should say, I say high power uh, reluctantly, of course, we don't want to put 
our microwave on here because that's going to take a ton of wattage. You know, 40 to 60 watts should be okay. Typical lamp, pretty good. So that is how you would connect uh, 120 volts AC. You take an extension cord, cut one wire of the extension cord, plug one of each of the separate wires into the common pin and the normally open pin. Now, if I wanted power to be there all the time until the relay was turned on, then what I would do is I would connect one pin to the normally closed pin and I would connect the other to my common pin. And so as soon as I power my device on, the relay is off, but power is being applied to my lamp. And as soon as the relay is activated, the internal connection here is cut off because now the common pin is connected to the normally open pin. So that is how you can reverse the logic. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you're new to electronics or you don't have much uh, experience with AC devices, always make sure that you have someone around to give you a hand with. If you want to learn more about relays, I know that this has been kind of a, uh, a backward uh, tutorial on uh, this specific topic. We actually have a ton of different tutorials. Look up Relay Tutorial uh, on my uh, YouTube page. So thanks for watching, guys. Check it out on check us out at engineeringshot.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com.